Well, it's been a while since the Needham football team started a season 0-2, yet that is exactly where the Rockets were sitting heading into a Week 3 showdown with Newton North. Last year, the Rockets claimed two wins over the Tigers, a regular season win on the road, and a playoff victory at home. While Newton North may fly a little more under the radar compared to Needham's first two opponents, Natick and Tewksbury, the matchup was no small task for the Rockets. The team was also a bit banged up as their two offensive players, top offensive players, Odari Hibberts and Tyler Reed, were ruled out. The Tigers were licking their chops and ready for revenge, while the Rockets were looking for any spark they could get. So here we're going to take a look at some highlights. Opening kick, quick, kickoff here, Chris Claflin, he's going to field it. He's going to escape here. Looks like he's going to go all the way, but he's going to get chased down by Thomas Lucy. And he's going to prevent the early score, but unfortunately, that won't stop it for long. On the very next play here is Andrew Landry, rolls out, passes to Tyson, Tyson Duncan. The senior's going to break in for the touchdown. They also go for two to make it eight to nothing. Later, after Needham goes three and out, Landry drops back in the shotgun, a pass to Alicio Calcagni, less than four minutes in, and now you see the Tigers are up 14 to nothing. While the Rockets here are going to wake up, third and seven, Tommy Fulbrook bursts through the middle and gashes the North defense for a 25-yard run. Shortly after, Needham faced with a fourth and ten, Tigers blitz, so Whip McDonald drops the screen to Edgar Vasquez, the sophomore. Look at him go 39 yards for the touchdown middle of the second quarter. Now we're going into McDonald hits Patrick Toulman on the slant, converts a big third down. But the Tigers D puts the clamps down. Christian Maldonado explodes through the O-line, takes down Fulbrook in the backfield. On fourth down, McDonald is going to be sacked by Nolan Boyer. We go to halftime with the Rockets still down 14-7. Norse First play of the second half, quick toss to Evan Thompson, goes wide for a big gain, then cuts back to the middle. And look at this, he's going to be gone. 61 yards to the house, 20-7 deficit for the Rockets at this point. Now we're going to go to late in the third, fumbled snap by Landry. Zayden, Zayden Ward is there to jump on it for the Rockets. They take over deep in Tiger territory, a much needed break for the Rockets. Unfortunately, they can't do much with it. They go for it on fourth down. McDonald's floater is batted away by Khalil Lofton. Now we're going to jump to late in the fourth. McDonald goes back to the uh, back of the end zone for Andrew Barnett, who goes full extension for the grab. It looks like a touchdown. However, they're going to rule that he was out of bounds. Almost swings the momentum for the Rockets. Very next play here, McDonald tries to go back to Barnett, but Tyson Duncan is waiting for it, intercepts the pass, and that pretty much wraps it up. 20-7 is the final as the Rockets fall to the Tigers. This marks the team's first home loss to Newton North since 2007. It was a valiant effort by Needham despite missing two captains. They head back on the road in week four as they look for their first win against Weymouth. Well, the last time we saw the Needham field hockey team play at home, they were fresh off a thrilling double overtime playoff win over Westwood. Fast forward to the beginning of this week, and where did those two teams stand early this season? Well, Westwood was 6-0 and ranked top 13 on the Boston Globe poll, while Needham was 4-1 with many new faces and players in different positions. Don't let that fool you, though, because the Rockets have yet to allow more than two goals in a game and are gelling early as a group. On Monday, September 23rd, Needham welcomed Westwood back to the site of last fall's postseason classic, and it felt a lot like Deja vu. More action we've got coming to you right here. Ten minutes in. Rockets with a corner. The pass across the half circle is snuffed out by Westwood and cleared. Shortly after the Wolverines have a chance, Cammie Foster makes a pad save on Abigail Crowley, uh, Clow Crowley and plenty more saves from her later in the game. Middle of the first half, Westwood fires a long shot on net, trickles by Foster, but the goal is going to be weighed off because the shot was from outside the circle. Later in the half, Needham controls the play. A shot in the middle by Grace Kelly here is going to roll just wide. About a minute later, Kelly with another shot. This one is going to bounce off the goalie's pads and not go in. So, uh, under 10 seconds in the half, Needham appears to get on the board. Shot by Kenzie Kelly is tipped into the net. However, 
Yeah, this sounds familiar. It's called the no goal because their ref says it was shot from outside the circle. Tipped by Westwood, uh, game remains scoreless at the half. Early in the second, ball sent in for the Rockets. Goalie comes out to disrupt the play. Defense clears it out. Three minutes later, the Rockets with more pressure. Grace Kelly down low, can't get quite enough on the shot. Uh, we go to now, then here's a three and one opportunity. Kelly cross field pass to Ashley Marshall. Her shot is blocked by a sliding Celia Mastro, Mastro Mute. Midway through the half now, Foster with an impressive sequence off the Westwood corner. She makes one, two, three, no, make it four saves all across her net. Now here we go, five minutes later, Wolverines have a breakout. Foster comes out and drives and denies Elizabeth Watson. Just over 10 minutes left, a mad scramble in front of Foster. Kathleen Reisenfinder, fielder, finds the ball and slips one into the net to put the Wolverines up one to nothing. Four minutes later, the Rockets respond. Britt Naraki, Naraki sends the ball deep. Marshall near the corner, knocks it through the five hole, ties it back up at one. Two minutes to go, Westwood with a chance to steal a victory. Foster, not about to let that happen, lays down for the save. That's gonna keep it a tie, and that's the way it will end. Needham plays Westwood to a 1-1 tie on the back of Cammy Foster. The junior easily with a double-digit save in this one, including a busy second half. Rockets followed this game up with a 4-1 victory over Braintree to bring their record to 5-1-1. One,